Introduction to Sepsis Biomarkers Sepsis and septic shock are life-threatening conditions that result in significant biochemical disturbances. Understanding the laboratory biomarkers associated with these conditions is essential for diagnosis, prognosis, and therapeutic monitoring. This lecture will focus on six key biomarkers, procalcitonin, C-reactive protein, lactate, leukocytes, neutrophils, and interleukin-6. These markers provide valuable insights into the pathophysiology of sepsis and guide clinical decision-making. Procalcitonin. Procalcitonin is a peptide precursor of the hormone calcitonin. In healthy adults, its levels are typically less than 0.1 nanograms per milliliter. Levels above 2 nanograms per milliliter are considered diagnostically significant, while persistent elevation above 10 nanograms per milliliter at day 5 correlates with increased mortality. In bacterial infections, procalcitonin is synthesized in the lungs, liver, and kidneys due to the activation of tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin 1 beta. Viral infections generally induce weaker responses in procalcitonin levels. Clinically, procalcitonin is used to distinguish bacterial sepsis from non infectious systemic inflammatory response syndrome. Protocols guided by procalcitonin levels reduce antibiotic use without increasing mortality. A 30% decrease in procalcitonin levels over 72 hours predicts treatment success. C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein is an acute phase reactant produced by hepatocytes in response to interleukin-6. In healthy adults, its levels are typically less than 10 mg per liter. In severe sepsis, levels can exceed 100 mg per liter. C-reactive protein peaks at 48 to 72 hours after infection onset and has a half-life of 19 hours. Clinically, C-reactive protein is useful for early risk stratification. Levels greater than 100 mg per liter within 24 hours predict progression to septic shock. Failure to reduce C-reactive protein levels by more than 50% by day 4 suggests inadequate source control. High procalcitonin levels with low C-reactive protein levels may indicate immunosuppression or liver dysfunction. Lactate. Lactate is a metabolic byproduct that reflects tissue oxygenation and mitochondrial function. The normal arterial range for lactate is 0.5 to 1.0 millimoles per liter. In sepsis-related hyperlactatemia, levels exceed 2 millimoles per liter, and in septic shock, levels often exceed 4 millimoles per liter. Lactate production occurs through two mechanisms. Type A hyperlactatemia results from reduced oxygen delivery, leading to anaerobic glycolysis. Type B hyperlactatemia is cytokine-driven where tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin 1 beta inhibit mitochondrial oxidation. Adrenergic overdrive also contributes to lactate production by stimulating sodium-potassium ATPase activity. Initial lactate levels greater than 4 millimoles per liter are associated with a 36.7% mortality rate. Achieving lactate clearance greater than 30% within 6 hours improves patient outcomes. Leukocytes and neutrophils Leukocytes and neutrophils are components of the immune system that respond to infection. The normal range for leukocytes is 4,000 to 10,000 cells per microliter, while neutrophils typically range from 1,800 to 7,000 cells per microliter, representing 40 to 70% of total white blood cells. Leukocytosis, defined as levels exceeding 12,000 cells per microliter, results from cortisol-mediated demargination and granulocyte colony-stimulating factor release. Leukopenia, defined as levels below 4,000 cells per microliter, may occur during severe infections. Neutropenia, defined as levels below 1,800 cells per microliter, indicates impaired bone marrow function. Elevated immature neutrophils suggest an early infection response. Interleukin-6 Interleukin-6 is a cytokine involved in the acute phase response to infection. Normal levels are typically less than 7 picograms per milliliter, but in sepsis, levels can exceed 80 picograms per milliliter. During a cytokine storm, levels may exceed 1,000 picograms per milliliter. Interleukin-6 binds to membrane-bound receptors, driving the acute phase response, and activates endothelial injury pathways through soluble receptors. 
It peaks two to four hours post-infection, earlier than procalcitonin or C-reactive protein. Clinically, interleukin-6 levels greater than 1,000 picograms per milliliter, combined with ferritin levels greater than 3,000 nanograms per milliliter, suggest secondary hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. Persistent elevation of interleukin-6 predicts poor prognosis. Summary. Interpreting sepsis biomarkers in context improves diagnostic accuracy and patient outcomes. Procalcitonin assists in distinguishing bacterial versus nonbacterial inflammation and guides antibiotic therapy. Seriactive protein reflects interleukin-6 activity and hepatic response to infection. Lactate serves as an indicator of tissue hypoperfusion and mitochondrial dysfunction. Leukocytes and neutrophils help assess immune response and bone marrow function. Interleukin-6 is an early marker of inflammation, useful for identifying hyperinflammation and immunosuppression. Rather than relying on single measurements, clinicians should focus on trends over time. Future advances in point-of-care testing may enable real-time biomarker assessment, improving individualized sepsis management. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.